This Easter Sunday also marked the 42nd anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Ava Wilhite shares the experience of a local group that toured the last place where Dr. King stood. I just want to do God's will. We were able to go through the rooms to uh, see room 306 and 307 before the assassination. It was just unique. It was a one-of-a-kind experience for all 20 people traveling from Lafayette to Memphis, Tennessee, two days before the 42nd anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination. Sadie Harper Scott is one of the trip's organizers. She says the experience, in short, was emotional. It was, it was very sad and very touched, you know, as he was preparing and wanted to do what was best for people with all rights and people with civil rights and how we wanted to help make a difference and make change. Vinod Singh also helped to organize the trip. Singh was on a personal pilgrimage. She says the experience was surreal. I was thinking I'm dreaming and I was very impressed. It was sad moments to see the room, the wreath and the blood still there. So it was very emotional. Singh says her personal journey to spread the message of Dr. King does not end after visiting the museum. Harper Scott says commemorating the anniversary of Dr. King's assassination means looking toward the future. To see the vision that one day our children will come together and do what we would like to see done and to make it what's best for all people. Not just one group of people, but for all people. Ava Wilhite, News Channel 18.